Hey guys, so I know it's been um, a while again, um, but this is just a really quick um, upload, just a really quick how-to video um, regarding the Kids Mode app that is on, I guess, the Galaxy devices. Um, I don't know if it's on all Androids or just the Galaxy, but I picked up um, a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 um, a few days ago for Justin. Um, if you don't follow me, Justin is my little brother. Um, so I picked one up for him and I was just like browsing and stuff online and I heard about the Kids Mode app and I thought I would check it out and I ran into some problems with it um, that neither Google or YouTube could help me with. So um, I finally did find the answer to my question I was able to resolve it and since there was no YouTube video like that I could find I thought maybe there wasn't one I figured I would just make a really quick one um, if it helped people cool if it's something that people already knew and it's not a big deal I mean that's cool too um, I just thought I would um, just kind of put it out there that it's really simple fix it was nothing crazy I was like stressing out um, and I've been trying to find the post where I found the answer to my question um, so that I could post the link to it in the description. I'm going to keep looking for it and hopefully I find it so I can at least give that person credit for helping me out because I searched and searched and searched, like literally, and I couldn't find um, the right answer or you know the helpful one to solve my issue and this one did. Um, it made me feel a little dumb because it was so easy and those of you who know me know that I mean I'm not like a tech um, like master or anything but I'm usually pretty good with my devices and how they work and um, troubleshooting and stuff and this one got me um, so uh, yeah so um, enjoy the video and hopefully I'll be uploading again soon um, to update you guys on a lot of stuff because there actually has been a lot going on which is why I haven't been um, vlogging. So, yeah. Um, see you guys. Okay, so here I've already got the app installed. Um, it's just a little yellow one-by-one one, um, tile with a green alligator on it, and it says kids mode. Um, so basically, if you did not come across this app already on your home screen when you took your Galaxy device out of the box, um, and you didn't find it in your app drawer, uh, Googling and YouTubing is going to lead you to um, one, make sure the latest software is installed, so make sure it's updated. And then two, if you still can't find it, um, it basically they'll tell they'll suggest for you to uh, do a factory reset, and then it should pop up. Um, I actually did all that, and it's still I couldn't find it. Um, I'm usually good with this kind of stuff. I don't know why. The fix is super simple. I don't know why it um, never occurred to me to check. But um, you, all you're going to want to do is, I guess, last resort or first. Um, say you just open up your app drawer in your apps. It's not there. Just go into widgets. Um, and surprisingly enough, you will find it in there. It's just a little one-by-one -one icon. Um, kids mode. Uh, again, just a yellow square with a green alligator. I install it onto one of your home screens and then just go ahead and select it if I'm not. There we go. Here I've already got it all set up, but when you first um, open it up, it's going to take you to like a download install thing. I guess to activate the app. After that, it's going to walk you through a really quick setup, two minutes tops. Um, it's really simple. It's really cool. It lets you set up a little profile. I'm going to skip through here just to show you. You can set up a little profile for your child, which is really cool. Um, and then these five apps here come pre-installed. Um, they're fun. They're cool. And then all these apps here, that's neat, um, are all apps that I have installed through Google Play and also a couple apps that I installed through the kids store um, that I have 
allowed access, allowed Justin access to in this mode. Um, the very cool thing about this is it turns it into like a whole nother tablet. Um, it's home button only takes you back to here because this is your child's home screen now. Um, they don't have access to any of the normal um, settings or functions of the Galaxy Tab unless they push this little door here and they put in a pin that you have selected. So it'd be pretty hard for them to do that. Um, and then you've got your parental controls again. They can't purchase any apps. They can't um, access any settings. They can't make any changes to um, this program or this app, anything in here without the pin. So again, that's really cool because that's the number one problem I had with Justin was um, he'll go into the settings on the tab and he's always messing with like block mode for whatever reason. Um, but just settings are all messed up all the time. Um, auto rotation gets turned off, little things. So this is really neat. This is cool. Um, you can keep track of how long they've been in the app, how long they've been playing. Here you can actually set a playtime limit. Again, you have your apps that are installed. You can add more or delete. Um, you've got your media. Again, you can add um, videos and stuff because I don't think Netflix is compatible with this yet. I don't, I don't think there's a way to allow access to Netflix. Um, if there is, I'd like to know. Uh, you've got your general. This is where you make, of course, all your changes. And then you've got your kids store. Sometimes it loads up um, kind of slow. It's a little laggy, um, like now. But again, the kid can't access it anyway. It's just you. So it'd be probably be like on your downtime when you want to change apps up. Um, it's into age categories or just normal categories, playing like games, learning, and then stories. The stories I like, I've downloaded some. A lot of free stuff in here and they're really neat. And that's about it. Um, you can block the back key here. Um, I don't know why you'd want to do that. It's actually easier for me to go through and fix, like mess with things um, with it not blocked. Um, but it's not going to take the kid out of the app anyway, even if they just keep pushing it. So yeah, so that's it. Um, very cool. And again, before, like if you've already updated and set it all up, before you go and reset, factory reset your device, check your widgets to make sure the app isn't already in there. Save you some time.